Well, hello there, my zealots. This is Joshua coming at you again today. How you doing? So, I have this guy named Aaron. Aaron asks a question. He says, okay, so his question is, um, hold on. So, he wants me to make a video. And his video suggestion is, make a video on getting closer to God and getting and keeping a polygamous family. Now, we live in a day and age where monogamy is the the status quo, okay? And most women that you'll find today are all pro-monogamy. I mean, we have whole TV shows dedicated around men that are not monogamous, like Maury Povich or any of those daytime TV shows that are talking about, like, all these cheating men <clears throat> and vilifying them because they're sleeping with more than one woman. Woman. Um, how do you, how do you build a polygamous family and maintain one? Um, honestly, you don't, you don't, you can't, it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not into your understanding and in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Delight yourself in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Honestly, if you want to have a righteous wife that believes in polygamy, then what you have to do is you have to become the most righteous man you can to attract a righteous woman. And it's, it, this is, you have to realize that a righteous woman will have an idea of what a righteous man is. And she'll be like, listen, this is what I'm looking for. And all you have to do is say, okay, I need to fulfill that and be independently, become that independent of my need of a wife. <clears throat> become that ideal because, not because I want a wife, but because I want to be the most righteous man ever. Focus on God and do God's will. And when you do that, when you focus on God and you do God's will and you sacrifice the right things for God and you don't succumb to temptation and you overcome adversity and you and you don't give in to any kind of addictive behavior and you avoid idolatry and you delight yourself in the Lord, when you start doing these things, the blessings of God start to pour down upon you. Not to say that there won't be persecution. There will be persecution. Persecution you can't avoid. In fact, the more righteous you get, the more persecution you get. But the blessings of God will down, rain down upon you. And when these blessings rain down upon you, then that's when you'll find the woman that God has provided for you. Or women. Because like David had women as gifts. They were gifts. I mean, how hard is it? If you're going to spend your time trying to look for a woman that is a modest in apparel, wears modest apparel, believes everything in the word of God, submits herself to a husband in all things, uh, will not use a birth control, believes in polygamy. I mean, these, I mean, it's almost like looking for a, a needle in a vast multitude of haystacks. So you can't find a polygamous woman. You just can't. It's impossible. You have to, you can't look externally from yourself. You have to look internally to yourself. Because no amount, no amount of searching is going to find this woman. You're, you've got to flip your pole, okay? If you're seeking out a righteous woman, you're going to push her away. But if you decide to become a righteous man, you draw women to you, righteous women to you. So that's the mentality you have to have. You have to have this mental pull switch that I'm not going to look for a woman. I'm going to let the woman look for me. Because it's really easy for women to, women are the ones that attract the men. Men, women are the ones that bring, that are, that get to choose which men they are with. They get to choose. They, they're the ones that say, I want this guy. I want that guy. Men, I mean, honestly, um, men don't need to be choosy. We don't because we, if we can breed with anybody and give birth and have very little um, invested, biologically speaking. However, in our modern age with our society and our culture and our government, it kind of forces you way more investment than you should. But anyway, um, but yeah, so stop focusing on getting a wife. Stop focusing on having a family. Start focusing on 
being the man that a righteous woman would want and do it and become and delight yourself in it. Like be grateful, be content. Don't be, because if you have the mentality, I need a wife, you will then, you're internally seeking a wife and that will push women away. If you say, I'm okay with myself, I want to be with me, I like hanging out with me, I, I appreciate who I am and what I'm doing, becoming the best man of God that you possibly can, then women will be drawn to you. Flip this on women though, women need to be seeking godly men. They need to be seeking them hard. Um, and, and, and we need to be seeking them shortly and soon because the era is upon us that has been prophesied in, I believe it's in Isaiah or Ezekiel, Isaiah. Yeah, it's, it's been prophesied in Isaiah where it says that the, um, the, the children shall be your oppressors and women shall rule over thee. This is going to be the time when the, it's, we're changing from the grace dispensation to the tribulation dispensation. And if you're not seeking marriage, if you're not looking for a righteous man, you're going to be stuck in your sin and there's going to be no way to repent of it. I mean, women are marrying men that are not going to be providing for them or taking care of them because they want to be forgiven for their sin of, of seeking to be single. They, they, people don't understand how important it is for a woman to be married. So for women, get rid of your whole monogamy mentality. Ditch it. Toss it to the curb. For men, stop worrying about women. Just be the most righteous man you possibly can be because you're not commanded to be married. Women are. So let them seek after you. You don't seek after them. Let them come to you. You just be the best attractant you can be. What What is important to you? What do you want to do? Can you become independent, emotionally independent? If you become emotionally independent and spiritually independent and even financially independent, women will be drawn to you. Women are drawn to men that are independent. And I, ironically, am not drawn to women that are independent. I don't, I don't, I like a woman that is dependent on me, but that's just me. I don't know. I, I like a woman that knows her place and is willing to submit to a man. Go figure. So these are the two mentalities we have to have. Women should be seeking to be married. They need to be married. They're commanded by God to be married. Men don't have to. So just be thankful that you're a man and, and don't put a lot of pressure on the whole marriage and wedding thing because when you have achieved enough spiritual, emotional, and physical independence, your wife will come to you and you don't have to worry about it till then. All right? So just, I hope this answers your question, Aaron. So just stay... Stay intellectually, physically, financially, spiritually, get as independent as you possibly can from, and, and do not need people, and then women will be drawn to your strength. Anyway, I hope this answers your question, Aaron. It was a great question. Um, yeah. You have a great day. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. Um, Saturday, 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we have the live stream. Please show up. It's going to be fun. Bring your questions. I'll have answers. Um, click the thingy thingy. Subscribe, share, comment. Yeah, I think that's it. You have a great day. Bye-bye.